Come here, boy. Yeah. Man, he really made a mess of things. <laughs> the living room is in a big mess. Oh, wait. You could totally, like, thumbnail material right here. Look at that. Thumbnail material, my friends. It's full of ruffle that must have fallen from the ceiling, and there's one man sitting on it cockily. Without a doubt, that is the cause of this mess. It's a robber! But there's one more- but there's one thing more important than that. The wall clock is still ticking away time, having escaped destruction. That reminds me. Yeah, that's right. Come to think of it, every clock in my house was an hour early today for some reason. In other words, it's one in the morning right now. There's actually one- Oh, Tosaka, why? There's actually one more hour until my mag magical energy is at its peak. <sighs> She's really good at this. I did it again. Oops, I did it again. <laughs> I misplaced the clocks. Uh, <laughs> she, needs, she needs one of those digital clocks. That's what she needs. I'm sure there's digital clocks in like 2000 or whatever when this game came out. I could do most things just like everyone else, but I have one hereditary curse. That is, to make the biggest mistakes at the most important times. That is such a toe socket thing! Well, what's done is done. I should reflect on my actions. I am mad at my own stupidity. Still irritated. She's, she's even mad at herself. <laughs> Still irritated, I glare at the man sitting there like he's important. So, what are you? Those are your first words? I guess I've been called to a terrible master. The man in red gives an exaggerated shrug. Maybe I'm the most unlucky of all, he adds. I do declare. This guy has a twisted personality. <laughs> I, I do declare. <laughs> uh, but this would be the servant. Since they call it a familiar, I thought it was something shapeless, but like... But this is a human. But this is human like! How could it be? No, that's wrong. Just standing here, I can tell this thing has outrageous amounts of magical energy. Don't be fooled by its appearance. This is certainly an existence far beyond human. A ghost that has reached the level of spirits is human. So, it's not actually. Okay, I get it. I can't be overwhelmed forever. That thing is mine. So I'll have to change my thinking from now on. Just to check. But are you my servant? But you are my servant, right? That's what I'd like to ask. Are you my master? This is the first time I've been summoned so roughly. So to be honest, I still can't grasp the situation. Damn it, Reen. This is the first time for me as well. I have to refuse that kind of question. I see. But when I was summoned, you were not in front of me. Explain to me. What's going on? Really? Don't joke around and tell me you're like a newborn chick who can only determine your master when you open your eyes. The unknown servant frowns. It's a rather vague response, and I cannot tell if he's angry at my complaint or impressed at how correct I am. Well, anyway, what am I asking? What I'm asking is, you're my servant and not anyone else's, right? Until we clarify this, I have no obligations to answer any other questions. I will be taking no for the questions at this time. That's what you say after you after you That's what you say after failing your summoning? In this case, I think you are I in this case, I think there are other things you should say. There's nothing else. We have to clearly determine who's the master first. Mm -hmm. The servant raises his brow. Perhaps because it is it was an imperfect summoning. This guy isn't even trying to hide his dis dissatisfaction with me. So, we have to determine who's master, huh? Your actions are full of mistakes, but it seems your mouth is rather better. Yes, I certainly agree with that opinion. <laughs> Unless we make it clear who is, tr who is the stronger and who the weaker, it'll be hard to handle each other. The servant looks at me meaningfully as he lays on the rubble. Who's the weaker? Yeah, I am a servant, so I'll accept this master-servant relationship, but that's only according to the contract, right? Who's superior, and if the other is worthy to fight alongside with, that's a different story. Well, are you a magus worthy to my master, young lady? The servant grins. He smashes my house, 
and that attitude, like he's, like he's king, makes me angry enough. But now he asked me if I'm worthy to be a master. Hold up, I just got a text message right in the middle of this video. That is, that is a terrible thing for me to have. I have made a mistake. I'm not asking for your opinions. All I'm asking is if you are my servant or not. I glare at him. I will not lose to someone who looks down on looks down on me this frankly. I see, I see. So you're saying such an obvious question isn't even worth answering? How courageous. Your spirit is that of a splendid master. But I S A I D <laughs> Don't get the wrong don't get the order wrong. Yeah. I I don't think <sighs> Is that how? I don't even know. It doesn't even matter. It's the duty of the summoner to confirm first. Now answer me. Are you my servant? Right? You are my servant, right? Oh my god, I'm messing up today, guys. I step forward, ready to attack depending on his answer. Jeez. You are a stubborn young lady. You're not getting anywhere this way. I guess it can't be helped. Let's say I am your servant. In that case, would you be my master? Just hypothetically. Of course! If you're my servant summoned by me, who else but me would be your master? I somehow cool my boiling, boiling head and glare at this rude guy. Oh, I see. Well, let's suppose that's true. Then where's the proof that you are my master? The command seal, damn it! The servant talks nonsense, grinning. He must think I'll panic about this proof of the master thing. Here, this is the proof that I'm your master, right? Huh? The command seal! I show him the command spell on the back of my right hand. Huh. Don't think I... Don't think I don't know anything. <clears throat> my father talked a lot about masters, so I know about the command spell. Are you satisfied? Are you still going to complain? I thrust before him the proof that I... That I'm a master. The servant and the rebel looks confused. Then... Man, are, are you serious, young young lady? His face clouds with discontent. What, what do you mean, am I serious? I mean, the way, that way of thinking. I mean, that way of thinking. What? So you're a master if you have a command spell? A command spell is only a tool that governs the, governs the servant. Jeez, you act like a master just because of that? What I wanted to see was, are you worthy for me to pledge my loyalty to you? Uh, uh, that's true, but you normally think of the command spell when talking about the proof that's one, that's something. So, what? I'm not fit to be a master then? I'd like that, but no go, since you have the command spell. It seems you are my summoner. It's unbelievable, but it seems you really are my master. He gives an exaggerated shrug on of his shoulders. Oh, thing fell. This is bad. My boiling point is so low. It seems I won't be able to cool down in time. Oh, she's about to explode. I'm not happy, but I'll accept. You are my master for now, but I have conditions as well. From now on, I will ignore your opinions. I will decide how to fight, and you will follow my plans. This is the best I'll comprise on. You don't mind that, right, young lady? She's getting so angry. Uh, I think this is it, Father. I'm almost at my limit. I see. You accept unhappily, but what do you mean about ignoring my opinions? You're my servant, right? I ask him in a trembling voice, just in case. There's the issue of the command spell, too, so this is my last warning. The biggest comprise I can make. Compromise. Comprise. Jeez. And to that... Yeah, in name only, so formally I'll obey you, but I'm doing the fighting. You can hide in the basement here and stay there until the Holy Grail War ends. They complete each other. That way, even an inexperienced person like you should make it out alive. He tells me he has no hope for me with eyes full of disdain. Oh, uh, those two exclamation points. That ellipses. She is about to go off. Hmm. Are you angry? Don't say that. 
Pro tip, people who are watching this video, if, if someone's angry, don't go, are you angry? That will make them more angry. Hmm? Are you angry? No, I will respect your position, of course. I am called to help my master win, after all. My victory is yours, and I shall give you everything that I earn in this fight. You shouldn't have any complaints about that, right? You won't be able to use the command spell anyway. Well, you can leave the rest to me. You just worry about your own safe... T... I'm pissed! Fine! If you say that, I'll use it! Anfang! There's no holding back now. I've no sympathy for a twisted guy like him. What is she gonna do? <laughs> is she gonna say, sit, boy? <laughs> well, you're not exactly what you're thinking, you rude scum. Vert track? Ein Nürnagel. Ein Nürnagel. Ein Nürnagel. I announced the command spell by the. Why didn't I just click? I announced the command spell. By the order of the Holy Grail, give the law of obedience to this one, my servant. You, it, wait, are you insane, Master? Why would you use the command spell for something like this? Shut up! Look, you're my servant. You have to obey every single one of my orders, okay? Wh what? The symbol on my right hand throbs. The three command spells, the essence of the Holy Grail War, the three claims to the servant's unconditional obedience is now used. Uh, are you even thinking? Using the command spell for such a general thing? Huh? It's too late now. First of all, I wasn't expecting this either. I hate myself so much. I want to die. Oh, she regrets it. To go ahead and use the important command spell for something like this. Oh, she's the best. Green Tosok is awesome. So, leaving the ruined living room behind, we move to my room. Oh, jeez. In front of me is the servant who should be absolutely obedient from my command spell. He's there, but... I see. I understand your personality, ma Master. How exactly is this absolutely obedient? Just to make sure, do you understand how important the command spell is, Master? I I know, it's the right to give your servant three orders, right? What about it? Jeez, look. The command spell forces the servant to act according to an order. It doesn't merely stop their actions, it strengthens their actions as well. For example, I can't, in I can't instantly teleport to somewhere far away, but if you command me to go using your command spell, then assuming we have enough magical energy, such things become possible. Oh, that's interesting. This is what is meant by unconditional obedience. It is the three crystallizations of a great magic that allows a servant to surpass limitations on their ability even they can't control. Well, only two now. But I know that, it's fine. We still have two and that order I gave you isn't useless either. Man, this was certainly a miscalculation on my part. The command spell works poorly on broad orders. For broad and long lasting orders like protect me through this or when this battle, the power of the command spell weakens. The force will last a long time, but since the associated pain is weak, some servants will be able to disobey. In contrast, a single simple order like deliver the next blow with all your power or don't break that glass is absolute, and even the most powerful servants will find it hard to disobey. So I think you can guess what I'd like to say next, Master. I get the idea, so you're saying a broad, long-lasting order is meaningless, right? If the effect is weak, servants can act against it. It's better to make a single absolute order than to give weak ones, right? Right. Basically, the command spell is a way to bring about miracles beyond our abilities. Stupidly using it for orders that can be achieved by other means is unforgivable. The command spell you just used is exactly that. Whether or not I'll obey whether or not I'll obey you is something that we could have solved by discussion. Even with the command, something like obey my every order completely is beyond even a hundred command spells. 
Oh, she's great. Uh, so the command spell I just used was meaningless? Normally the answer would be yes, but it seems that your abilities as a Magus are on a completely different level. Huh? Is he happy or unhappy? The servant has a smile on his face as he sighs. On a completely different level? You mean... Hey, you. Tell me honestly your condition right now. I have a gut feeling, so I ask him boldly. Yeah, that's what I mean, that's what I mean by miscalculation. The command spell should have only changed my attitude to, well, I respect Master's opinion slightly. But right now, I feel a, a strong bind from your words. If I disagree with you, let's see. Seems like I drop a rank. In other words, it's like my body feels heavy when I go against your will. The servant shrugs his shoulders as if to say it's a pain. Ah, oh, such a drag. So, that means the command spell wasn't meaningless and it worked in my favor? But this guy speaks as sarcastically as always, and it doesn't seem like he's any weaker at all. Though even he, though even <clears throat> if he is weakened when he goes against me, I doubt even ten of me could take him on. Let me take let me take back what I said before, Master. You are young, but you are an outstanding Magus. It was my mistake to patronize you and try to keep you out of the battle. I apologize for my rudeness. He adjusts his stance and bows his head politely. Uh, hey, stop it. We argued a lot, but they say both sides are usually at fault in this sort of thing. I see. I'm glad you understand. By the way, this is a pretty good thumbnail. Let's just say You changed your tune quickly. Well, it was a miscalculation, but not an unwelcome one. If you're this talented, I have no objections to your involvement in the battle. Huh? Uh, he seems to be saying he's found a powerful master, so you have set me as master even without the command spell? Of course. I wasn't clear back then and I was just summoned, but we are completely connected now. If you're really a Magus, you should be able to feel the connection from the contract. Contract? Hmm. Now that he mentions it, my body does feel strange. It feels like the nerves once closed within me, are now pointing outwards. And on top of that, part of my magical energy is flowing into the man in front of me. You see, servants are caught by the Holy Grail, but what keeps them in this world is... Right, the power of the Master. Servants stay in this world by receiving mag magical energy from their Masters. The magical energy you supply is sufficient. There might be problems with your experience, but your ability is outstanding. A normal Magus would pass out after summoning a servant, but... You're still full of energy. The command spell earlier, earlier in this amount of magical energy, you're definitely a first class master. Interesting. Huh? huh? Praising me now won't do you any good. A bit embarrassed, I avert my gaze. Plush. I wasn't really expecting this. I'm forcing him to obey me with a command spell, but for a servant of being superior to humans to honestly accept that I am his master? So, which servant are you? I collect myself and finally get to the point. You can't tell from my appearance, huh? Ah, excellent. No, I was just mistaken before. This guy is certainly making fun of me. Alright, this is a question from your master. You're not Saber, are you? I'm sorry, but I don't have a sword. As I suspected. This is natural, though. I mistook, I mistook the time. The summoning circle didn't work, and I even mis, I even summoned the servant to the wrong place. It was all too clumsy to call Saber the strongest servant. What a blunder! Using that many jewels and not calling Saber, it's too appalling to face. <laughs> uh, Rin Tosaka is just oh my god, she's one of my favorite characters. Hmm. Well, I'm sorry, I'm not Saber, huh? Uh, well, it was a big mistake and I regret it, but it's my fault, so... Yeah, Archer isn't too flashy. I know. Alright, I'll make you regret your abuse later on, and I won't accept my... I won't accept any apologies when that time comes. Huh? This is unexpected. The unknown servant seems disappointed by my fixation on Saber. What? Did I get on your nerves, Archer? 
Yes, you did. Keep your eyes open, as I will definitely show you how lucky you are. Archer protests with narrow eyes. The air he carries is offensive, but his behavior seems childlike and pure. You know, he might be a pretty good guy. Alright, then be sure you make me regret it later on, Archer. If you do, I'll honestly apologize. Yeah, and don't you forget it, Master. Now, how great... Now, know how great the one you summoned is, and be grateful. Though, even if you do apologize, then I probably won't be satisfied. Archer grins again. Huh, maybe he does have a twisted personality after all. Well, fine. Leaving that aside, which heroic spirit are you? Archer doesn't answer. His sarcastic tone disappears, and he frowns seriously. Archer, your master is asking you a question. That's a secret. Huh? I can't answer the question of who I am because... Hold on. If it's for a stupid reason, I'll be pissed. It's... Oh, that face again. Archer must be really troubled as he opens his mouth like he'd rather not say anything. It's because I don't know myself. Wait, what was that? What? Are you making fun of me? I didn't mean to insult you, Master. But this is what you get for your failed summoning. It seems my memory is confused. I know who I am, but things like my name and origin are a bit vague. Well, they're trivial things to be missing, so we shouldn't be worried about it. Don't worry about it. Of course I'm worried about it. If I don't know which heroic spirit you are, I can't tell how strong you are. Oh, that's no problem. It's a trivial matter. Trivial, trivial, you say? How can I make a plan when I don't know how strong my partner is? There's no way we can fight like this. Why are you... What are you saying? I am the servant you summoned. Naturally, I am the strongest. <clears throat> Straightforwardly, the knight in red looks at me with absolute confidence and trust. What? My thoughts freeze. There's no dishonesty in Archer's words. He thinks more highly of my power than I do, even though we've only just met. My face is burning. Jeez, I'm definitely blushing. Why am I so weak against unexpected things? Well, fine. It'll make no difference that no one will know your true identity. They do say, to fool your enemies, you must first fool your allies. I say this to hide my embarrassment, looking away from Archer. Well, I can find out later how good of a servant he is. For now, I have a higher priority. Alright, I shall not question you about your identity. Your true identity for now. So Archer, here's your first task. Buy me groceries. Already? You are aggressive. So, who's our enemy? As he's asking, I know I throw a dustpan and broom in front of him. Uh, huh? Clean the room downstairs, please. You made that mess, so be responsible and clean the place up. Green is the best. Oh! Uh, he stands there blankly for ten seconds. After recovering his thoughts, he grabs the broom ready to make an objection. <laughs> Hold on. Just what do you think? Just what do you think a servant is? A familiar, right? He's a bit insolent, so he's difficult to control. <laughs> Look at his face! Oh, that's great. Archer swallows his words. I don't intend to take back my words, and I do have a trump card. Can there be, like... Okay. There should be fan art of Archer cleaning, like, with a broom and dustpan as his weapons. That'd be great. Objection. I refuse such an order. Really? This is an order as a master. Doesn't your body feel heavy when you go against your master's wishes? Ugh. Well... I'm sure it's nothing to you, but the penalty would continue until you clean up the living room. Won't it be dangerous to fight in such a condition from tomorrow? Uh, he groans for a few seconds, clutching the broom. The servant in the red coat, Archer, closes his eyes in dismay. Understood. Damn you, master. <laughs> oh, that's great. He acknowledges my arrest gracefully. Well... It's getting late, so I should rest for tonight. I can decide how to treat him after I wake up. <laughs>